Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. As you can see, I have a new little uh, member of the crew. This is Vigo. He has moved in yesterday. <laughs> and yeah, he's now part of the family. I'm gonna say hi to YouTube. Gonna say hi to YouTube. Vigo oh. is uh, very much into absolutely everything. Everything is cool, everything is interesting. Yo, but now you want to continue exploring. Okay, you can explore and I'll do the video. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kika and today I'm gonna show you how you can take photos of yourself in five simple steps. And I'm gonna show how you can do this when you have a camera or just your phone, when you have a tripod or you don't have a tripod. I'm gonna cover it all. You can use these tips for taking creative self-portraits or just a new profile picture. Really, when you need to take a picture by yourself, of yourself, you don't have anybody to help. Um, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Step number one is to stabilize your camera or your phone. If you have a tripod, great, use that or a selfie stick. If you don't have a tripod, you can either use some books or I've used a banana and various creative things and props to prop up your phone, but just something that will allow the camera or your phone to stay in place. Step number two is of course the angle and from where you're gonna shoot. For more creative photos, maybe you want to take a low angle and get a bit of an editorial look. Also, if you want to do a photo with a full body shot, so your whole body in the frame, even when you don't have that much space, if you take your photo or your camera and phone and put it on a very low angle, you're gonna get your whole body in there. But otherwise, maybe you want to take it from pretty straight forward, if it's a more formal photo or more creative up above. Little bonus tip here. If you're gonna be using with natural light, make sure you place yourself close to a window or somewhere where there is a lot of natural light or even better, go outside. All right, next starting to shoot. So for your camera, I recommend to have a camera with built-in Wi-Fi so that you can get a remote trigger app that you connect to your phone so that you can trigger your camera from your phone. Pretty convenient, right? And most bigger brands have this, Nikon, Sony, Fuji, they all have this. If you don't have this, you're just gonna do the self-timer thing, put your camera on 10 seconds and run back and forth. And unfortunately with the iPhone or when you're taking with the phone, the self-timer is probably what you have to use but there is a trick and um, I've shown it here in this video how you can connect your laptop to your phone so that you can use your laptop as a field monitor so when you're taking the photo you'll have your laptop and the laptop will see what the phone is seeing where the screen is on the other side so you don't see what's going on but then you can use your laptop so that's a little trick to use if you're using your phone but now how do you get yourself sharp glad you asked when you're taking it with the camera just first go ahead place yourself in the spot you're gonna be straight up pose and take a photo without the delay so without the 10 second timer that way your camera will focus on you if you're using autofocus or a manual focus you'll just see that you're sharp and then you go back and you put the little self timer put 10 seconds you can put your phone away strike a pose and you will be sharp now, when you're doing this with the phone, the best thing usually is just to put something in that place that you're gonna be so that the phone will have something to focus on. So you literally have an object where you're gonna be, you're gonna press the trigger button, it's gonna focus on the thing that's there, you run, you ditch that thing to the side and you take its place and you will be sharp. This does require a little bit back and forth running, but trust me, it's totally possible to get a sharp photo like this. Before revealing the final step, I just want to say thank you for Zyro for sponsoring this video. So when you've taken those uh, extra delicious <laughs> self-portraits, maybe you want to share them in a website on your portfolio, or maybe you're thinking about launching a website store, then Zyro has you covered because Zyro is an online website builder and also you can build a store there. It's super affordable, just for $2.61 per month you can get started and they have lots of different templates that allows you to start immediately. You can even build a website in one day, which is pretty cool and it's very easy to use because you can just drag and drop and customize it, put your logo in there, your own fonts, your own colors and really make it look like you. And I have a special deal for you. So if you want to get an additional 10% off, you can click the link in the description below and use the code KUTOVAKIKA 
for an extra 10% off. And this is really perfect if you're just starting out and maybe you don't have the budget or you don't want to put that much money. So go and click the description in the link below and use the code KUTAVAKIKA for an extra 10% off. All right, the last step is <laughs> strike a pose. So bring your posing game, get creative and I usually like to have a little bit of time because often in the beginning it can feel kind of stale and stiff and not really sure how to pose but when you just do it for a while and sort of warm up to it and you get more courageous usually the final or the last photos will be the best one so just make sure you take enough so you have something to choose from. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like this quick tutorial, self-portrait tutorial. If you want more photography tips, I have lots of videos, so make sure to subscribe and also like this video and let me know what you thought. If you thought these steps were easy and intuitive and if you've done self-portraits or if it's something you'd like to do. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye! Hello, hello, a bee in my bonnet, hello. There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello, a bee in my bonnet, hello.